Welcome back, everybody. So today we're going to continue our discussion of lists, and this is a chance for us to practice some algorithm analysis. So yesterday we introduced lists and we showed you how to use the built-in Java list, but this is a course on computer science, and so uh, we're not content just to use the built-in stuff. We're actually going to implement our own lists, a simplified version of what's built into Java, but you'll see some of the core principles. So today we're going to work through an implementation of part of a list that stores its items in an array. And then what we'll do is we'll take our implementation and we'll look at it from the perspective of algorithm analysis. We'll look at some of the functions that we built and we'll try to figure out how long they're gonna take and we may actually even try to measure some of this a little bit to make it more empirical. Um, moving forward, for the next couple of days, we're gonna to continue to focus on lists presenting two different implementations, um, both of which will be somewhat different. In fact, they're very different. They're entirely different. They're completely different. Um, and it'll be a great chance to discuss some of the trade-offs here. And the second implementation will actually introduce some new ideas in Java that we haven't seen before. So anyway, this is great stuff. Uh, I really enjoy this part of the class. I hope you guys are having fun as well. Um, good luck on today's lesson. Enjoy the walkthroughs, and I'll see you at the bottom.